What you're seeing here is the home of an insect. This is a caddisfly casing with some blue bits included, which turn out to be microplastic. Microplastic all the way from the 80s. But how did it all start? When did we first see microplastic in, in, in fresh water? Turns out way earlier than we started measuring it. So here it is. And this actually is the very first caddisfly that includes plastic pollution, small bits of microplastics in the house of a small insect. This is Alka Florian Heemstra. He's been studying casings left behind by caddisflies, small moth-like flying insects whose larvae live underwater and can create the most amazing protective structures. These tiny tubes are made up of bits of sand, plant, and basically whatever a caddisfly larva has access to. And just a few years ago, actually, the first report came in of a caddisfly casing, which was found to include microplastic. Microplastics are tiny fragments of plastic that come from human rubbish. At the wildest places, you can nowadays find microplastics. So they've been found in our, in our brains, they've been found in our blood, in our heart. It's difficult to escape microplastics. These microplastics contain potentially harmful chemicals and have been found to accumulate in marine life. It's estimated that our oceans contain trillions of tiny particles of microplastic. But a lot less is known about its presence in freshwater, where caddisfly larvae live. We knew about plastic in caddisfly casings for just a few years. It's a very, fairly recent discovery. But I just kept thinking, maybe, maybe this has been happening for, for a way longer period already. And we just didn't notice. So together with my student, Isabel van der Velde, we went through the whole Kennisfly collection here. So we had hundreds of drawers and every juvenile with a casing we encountered. We put it under a microscope and inspected if we could find any particles, which seemed strange. It had like bright colors. And eventually, we found one actually going way back in time, all the way to the early 70s. These bright yellow particles turned out to contain elements like titanium, chlorine and lead, all additives in plastic. Finding them in this casing from 1971 and others from the 1980s pushes back our understanding of microplastics in freshwater environments. Yes, finding microplastics in caddisfly casings decades ago is a pretty cool discovery. It's also quite a sad discovery because it shows that microplastics have been impacting our freshwater life for at least 50 years.